Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope you're having a fantastic day. This is my last candle review of the day here. Um, if you missed it, I did share uh, two candle reviews earlier throughout the day. Um, one of those was of the uh, Veluspa Panjore Lychee fragrance, and the other review was of the Sniff Chrome Couture fragrance which I picked up in their extra large or luxe size. If you are interested in my thoughts on either of those two fragrances, definitely check out the description box. Um, I'll go ahead and link the videos there. If you're not already subscribed and you are interested in more home fragrance content, just hit that subscribe button right below the video here, and that way all of my new home fragrance content will pop up in your subscription feed as it goes live here on my channel. Anyway, we are ending today with another uh, Velispa review. Um, I mentioned in the last video that I recently purchased several of these three wick tins from Velispa with the intention of trying to find a fragrance that really spoke to me um, that I wanted to buy a larger format of. And I think the Kalahari watermelon here is a definite contender for a luxe or potentially even a hearth size. Um, now, I'm not sure uh, if I'm going to um, if I'm going to order that hearth size this summer because honestly, I'm a pretty seasonal burner and I usually switch over my home fragrance once I decorate for fall in mid-August. I know that seems soon for some of you, but I do share a decorate with me series at the start of every September. So I tend to decorate my, ha uh, my house for fall a little bit earlier than most. Um, and that, for me, that means that obviously my summer burning is coming to a little bit of a close here. So with that being said, um, this, if I don't purchase it in a Lux or a heart size this year, I will absolutely be purchasing this in a larger format for next year because this is how watermelon should be done. It's so perfect, you guys. So let's go ahead and read through these fragrance notes. I'm going to tell you what I smell. We'll talk burn quality, strength, throw, all of that stuff. Um, just really quickly, this is again the three wick tin. These burn up to 40 hours. These are natural wicks and it is a coconut blend of wax. And these are all hand poured in California. So if made in the US is a big thing for you, um, Velispa candles are, uh, they are all manufactured here in the United States. Um, I believe they have their own facility somewhere in, I wanna say Southern California. Don't quote me on that. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and read through this fragrance uh, description here. So, as the sun peaks in the Kalahari Desert, a labyrinth of monochromatic tones transforms heat into euphoria. The desert comes to life, inviting you to an oasis of nourishment and vigor, a muddled libation of chilled wild watermelon, crisp cucumber, and Balian mellow intermingle with, um, sorry, I got, I got lost. <laughs> Uh, and Bali and Mello intermingle with a lounging sprig of holy basil, exalted to perfection with a dash of white cardamom and pressed lime zest. As Nirvana sets in, we invite you to stay a while. Wow, that was quite the story there, wasn't it? Anyway, so what do we have notes here of? We've got some wild watermelon, some cucumber, some Bali and Mello, which admittedly I have never consumed. Um, and I don't know that I've ever technically had wild watermelon. Um, we also have some basil in here. We've got some cardamom and uh, some lime zest. So what does my nose <laughs> detect? Okay, so like I said, I've never had a wild watermelon, but I can tell you that this particular watermelon smells uh it smells very much like the watermelon that i purchased at my local grocery store which <laughs> comes from hermiston oregon um so i'm not sure if the wild watermelon is re related to the watermelons they grow here in oregon but i can tell you that they smell very similar if if this is what a wild watermelon smells like it actually smells very similar to a regular store-bought watermelon but here's the thing, 
it's that perfectly ripe watermelon um, that you not only smell that gorgeous like red flesh of the watermelon, that really sweet part, there's also a touch of rind here as well. That little, just a little bit of that green rind mixed in with that watermelon to almost tone down a little bit of that intense sweetness that you get with a perfectly ripe watermelon. Again, I have not smelled a Balian melon either, but I feel like another like melon note that I'm detecting here is cantaloupe. Um, there is just that very unique, almost cantaloupe melon type note that comes in right after like the watermelon mixed with like that green rind of, you know, the first note that I spoke about. Um, it's a great combination. Um, the melons are coming across as sweet, but not cloying. They are not overly sweet at all. And you know what I think tones it down? The perfect touch of just a hint of cucumber and the tiniest hint of lime. Now to my nose, it smells a little bit more like a lime juice than it does a zest, um, but it's, it's not like very prominent at all. I really have to almost kind of stand over the fragrance for that lime to be super noticeable for me. But once the oils kind of dissipate into the air, if you will, there's a lot more focus on those melon notes that I mentioned and that little bit of cucumber. And I think one of the best parts about this one is that holy basil note. Um, I used to really dislike when <laughs> fragrances would have a basil note to them, but it's one of those fragrance notes where I think as my nose is kind of evolving as I get older, I am more and more drawn to it. So um, who knows, I might be uh, an herbal candle convert here at some point in the future. But I really think that the basil, again, tones down a little bit of that intense melon sweetness and it just creates the most interesting, fresh, sweet, juicy watermelon scent that I have ever smelled. You guys, this is absolutely lux worthy. Um, I think this is one of my new favorite melon scents of all time. Now, I, there's a lot of watermelon scents that I really enjoy. I can't think of one that is exactly similar to this. Um, but this is unique, it is delicious, it's authentic, it's not overly sweet, um, it's just really insanely enjoyable. And I think this is also one of those watermelon scents that's really guest friendly. Um, it's just so authentic and beautiful and well done and just well rounded overall. Um, I, there's not a thing that I would change about this. It's perfect you guys now the cardamom note i do kind of wish that was a little bit more noticeable to me but i did not smell that cardamom on cold sniff i did not smell it while the candle is burning so if that's something that you're really looking for in this particular scent um it's not really detectable to my nose um do keep in mind however that everybody's nose is slightly different and everybody's nose also changes throughout the years. I can tell you that personally for me, um, I'm going through I, what I think are a lot of hormonal changes in my body and it really is affecting how I smell certain things. There are some days where I almost feel more sensitive to fragrance and there are some days where I kind of feel like, you know, like is this home fragrance strong enough? <laughs> You know, and it's something that maybe like a week or two prior, I thought like, oh my gosh, this is so insanely perfect in terms of strength and throw. And then the following week, you know, I'm kind of struggling to smell it. Um, I just think that everybody's nose is going to be different. This might not be the watermelon that speaks to you, but if you kind of like what I mentioned and you tend to have typical, uh, typical um, experiences with a lot of other fragrances that I review, Hopefully this one is helpful to you. Um, I just, for me, it'll 100% be a repurchase. This is delightful and I think a lot of you guys would like it as well. Now, I do think that most of us at this point have kind of moved past, you know, purchasing summer fragrances. So maybe put this one in your back pocket for next summer if you're a seasonal burner like me. 
Um, it's totally worth picking up, however. So I'll have it linked in the description box down below. Anyway, um, strength and throw, you guys, it's another good solid like seven out of 10 in terms of strength and throw. This one fills, I would say, a good chunk of the downstairs. Um, it's really uh, a good performer for a candle of this size in my eyes. And I do think that it'll probably be around a seven or an eight in the Lux size as well. The hearth, however, is I know going to be significantly stronger. Um, and I really, ugh, just the color here of this one. Um, if you take a look at the, um, at the website, the Lux glass is this gorgeous light peachy color. I don't, I don't know the color of the glass. It's just really speaking to me on this one. So um, absolutely stunning. Um, good strength and throw. The burn quality has been fantastic. There are no problems with these wicks. There's no problem with the wax discoloring. Um, I do trim the wicks between each burn and I kind of straighten them out just a little bit. I basically just nip a tiny bit off the top. Um, you wanna keep these wicks somewhat long. Um, but you know, you, you don't need to like trim these aggressively at all. There aren't huge mushroom tops that form. I just nip a little bit off at the top, straighten the wicks back out because they do get a little bit of a curl to them. Um, these are fine whether I have them lit for four hours or whether I have them lit for six hours. I haven't really burned beyond six hours, but even six hours has been fine. Um, again, the three wicks have a 40 hour burn time. So overall, I cannot give this one enough thumbs up in terms of not only the fragrance, but the performance. It's beautiful. If you have tried the Velispa Kalahari Watermelon yourself, definitely leave your thoughts in the comments down below. This is one of those fragrances that I do think is available at Sephora in a three wick tin format. So I'll see if I, not a three wick tin, um, sorry, it's, it's they're one wick tins. They usually have the uh, one wick smaller tins in trios at Sephora. Um, you know, they'll do like a spring pack, a fall winter pack, something like that. So I'll see if I can find one that contains this fragrance. Um, and that way, you know, you can get some points if you are interested in Sephora points and you'll be able to try the fragrance. So, um, but yeah, for me, this is a great one. I'm really enjoying it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, check out the description box for all the links mentioned. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. I appreciate you being here and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.